Let's talk about the quality and pricing of crystals for a minute. I know this is important to you if you're collecting and buying your crystals rather than going and digging them. So here we have some citrine and also some amethyst from Brazil. And what is it that makes one crystal more expensive than another? Well, I think the first most obvious point is that the size of the crystal is going to determine its value. So, for instance, this crystal that I'm holding, a citrine color change crystal that used to be amethyst, probably sells in the range of about $300 or so. Some geodes are more rare than others because of the colors that they contain. For instance, this one has a nice deep purple color and in and by itself looks absolutely spectacular and then when we compare it to its buddy over here you can see that the one on the right is even darker the darker colors are typically more rare than the lighter colors and in fact the lightest colors might go through a heat treatment to change them into citrine or sometimes green quartz one of the other factors that will determine the value of your particular geode is how big the crystals are. Amethyst tends to form fairly small crystals, although they're a pretty good size in this piece and also here. Some of the biggest ones in this geode are about two inches tall and almost two inches across. In general, when you find smaller geodes, you'll find that they have smaller crystals inside. The bigger the crystal, the more valuable it is. We have to look at how many crystals come out of the ground what kind of condition they're in, are they broken, are they perfect, do they have wonderful shapes, do some of these geodes have stalactites inside or other minerals that might make them even more interesting. All of these factors will be considered. When you're actually pricing out one of your geodes, keep in mind that if you find one that's of a lower grade, it might only cost a few dollars per pound. So maybe a 20 pound geode might cost 40 or 50 dollars. Now that same geode, if it had really deep, dark, beautiful, glossy crystals inside, could run up into the hundreds of dollars. And let's say it had a rare formation of maybe rutile crystals or calcite crystals inside. Even though it's relatively small, it could peak out around $1,000 or so. Some of these larger pieces are extremely expensive because the weight alone, 1,200 pounds here, 1700 pounds here makes them difficult to mine, difficult to clean and to open up, and also very difficult to move. Every time I move one of these big crystals, it costs me one to two thousand dollars, and that's partly because I have to rent a forklift. We've talked a little bit about pricing geodes, so let's take an actual example here and try to come up with a fair price for it. Here's a two foot tall amethyst geode from Brazil. And the first thing you'll probably notice is that it has a beautiful color to it. These are nice, dark, not totally dark, but very vibrant purple crystals inside. And you can see, even on your TV set, you can see that they have nice big crystals on the inside. So around the amethyst, you'll see that there's nice clear quartz crystal surrounded by agate. Overall, it has a beautiful shape. It's nice and open, so you can see all the crystals. They're bright, they stand out, all in all a very pretty piece. This particular one weighs 129 pounds, and typically something like this will sell for about $10 a pound. So we're talking about maybe $1,200 for a big geode. Some of the really top pieces can sell for $50 a pound for, say, a red Russian amethyst geode, and occasionally they'll get even more expensive than that. But typically, if you're looking for amethyst, prices might run anywhere from $5 a pound up to maybe $20 a pound for a really fine specimen. This will give you a good guideline for pricing to make sure that what you're looking at is realistic for you.